Okay, the question about spurs and how to use them. Uh, it's easy to get in trouble using spurs incorrectly, and the best way to get a horse to move off your legs is to get him moving off of something else, whether somebody's chasing you with a flag, or you're using a little switch, or the tail of your rope, or McCarty, or something like that. But typically, I will spank a horse on the butt to get him to move out, and that kind of translates to the signal from my legs to where pretty quick I don't have to spank him. Now, if I'm helping somebody else, I'll just move around behind him with the flag and, and help get the horse moving with the flag and pretty quick I'm doing less with the flag they're doing more with their legs but the legs uh, need something to get the horse moving out first and then we translate it because if you just go to kicking a horse in the ribs it tightens his rib muscles he shortens his ribs and shortens his stride and it's pretty easy to get a horse just to where he doesn't move out at all so the first thing we got to do is get them to where they know to move out when we wiggle our legs, when we fan them or bump them with our calves or whatnot. Then the spur can be a reinforcement of our legs. But if we use too much spur and get them to tighten their muscles, uh, then that can work against us. So we got to be pretty careful. A, a little bit of spur can go a long ways. And the spur should only be to reinforce them uh, if they're not moving off their, our calves or, or the energy in our legs.